Hey everybody, Jason Shadrick here at the Anaheim Winter NAMM Show, and we are at the Relish Guitars booth with Joel and the one and only Thomas Nordegg here, and we are going to talk about this new kind of concept guitar that you guys have built called the Phantom Jane. So Thomas, tell us a little bit about well, everything that's going on here. I know there's a lot. Well, first of all, good morning Vietnam. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, well, this is, I met these fellows a year and a half ago with Relish, uh, Pyramid, and uh, Silban. And uh, this is definitely a, a fantastic creation as it's totally modern and timeless at the same time. High quality, you would expect from Switzerland. Sure. And uh, uh, as we got uh, closer and we talked about it and I showed him my mad uh, uh, thinking and uh, creations, <laughs> we uh, felt we'll put everything in today's world, since everything is turning into a computer, whether yeah. we like it or not, why not? Uh, have a really quality guitar and put in what there is out there today. And uh, in this guitar, it's packed. There is, uh, for instance, the Antares Technology Autotune for guitar, which you see right here, two encoders, one with six positions relating to each of the strings, and one with zero plus 12, meaning 13 positions for the parameters what you then choose to. So that's the Antares system. Mm -hmm. Then you have, uh, the, uh, as one every guitar should have, uh, Alan Hoover's Sustainiac for infinite sustain. So you always, that's your best friend. No musician will play along with, like with you, like the sustainer chiming in and rolling along. Then we have uh, the ref pad from Israel, which is a uh, two square inch type touch pad with three navigation buttons that allows you to do up to eight things with its own base station to eight things uh, at the same time uh, using your X axis. So like you play with your, this is your pick, mm -hmm. and then you have three fingers to go and travel this way, this way, or land for Z. So you can create craziest combinations of sounds paired with a sustainer and auto-tune on top of it, of course. And then we have, uh, if we flip it over here, very handy, right? We're on the full lid, a wireless, Line 6 is G70, which is also really handy as it shuts itself off after no movement, after three minutes. Mm -hmm. You pick it up four weeks later, none of all's been used, and you're right on the air, in case you forget to turn it off, which you will, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So, as you see, it's loaded here, all batteries. These are the fastest battery clips, Keystone, New York, old company, that uh, I modify a little spring here, instant in and out clip, no <laughs> here with the plasticky thing happening. Uh, so, that's enough countersunk strap locks, of course. Here is the uh, MIDI, 8-pin MIDI output. That means if you use the uh, 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 autotune system in the studio for a long time, you plug this in, uh, a little PV box that re delivers 100 to 240 volts, so universal, globally, plug it in anywhere, no frying happening. Then you ru can run this for forever, uh, for all day long in the studio, uh, the autotune system, that is. And they share the uh, batteries, uh, autotune, uh, ref pad, and... Uh, I think the third battery, yeah, and of course the, the Piazza platform, I think these are RMCs, uh, correct? Are, yeah, so that to deliver, to, to keep the uh, look integral, because normally the uh, uh, auto-tune goes with a hex pickup, uh, but this is the better look yeah. and uh, it works just as well. And here's the sustainer, just pull push, low profile, stealth totally, you know, and then you roll uh, fundamentals to harmonics, high, and of course, for me only, Ned Steinberg, a genius, 35 years ago, come when he came up with the headstock less guitars, and people say, oh, that looks bad. So he made these tuners, uh, but uh, with all due respect to tradition, any guitar headstock you tune here, and then contort your hand to here with the butterflies. Why not go like on the banjo straight through with a 40 to 1 violin ratio? That is, you don't even have to look, and it, you can play music with it. You go de 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 just with a tuner on all these strings. So really practical. And then I think uh, TC Electronics clip on now out for a year, definitely proven to me the best clip on tuner to have at any situation. It lights up really better than all the others, and you can hit all six strings to see which one is out of tune, right. and then hit it. So. Uh, all right. Well, Thomas. Obviously, this is a loaded down guitar, but let's yeah. hear 
I know it would take us probably all day to, to hear everything, but let's hear uh, a few different one ones. One more thing I want to yep. mention, their capacity sensors here to, uh, to choose between pickups, you know which pickup you have, right, is really, really handy too, it's silent, and you know, to mute the guitar and just uh, select what you have. And those are really quality pickups, this one, and you have tone and volume. By the way, you turn on Antares by pushing down the uh, tone part, which you will see a light here, gives you a pilot that you know you are in auto-tune, and on the bottom, to charge the uh, uh, ref pad for the for the processor in here, micro USB, and you're home. Man, hey. so obviously this is a pretty feature-packed guitar, and it probably take us all day to hear everything. But kind of demonstrate a little, maybe the auto tuning and some okay. other sounds. So uh, the auto tune function you turn on, as I uh, showed before, with the tone. This is the regular magnetic guitar. You turn this on, and you enter it now by hitting all six strings. And it chimes in, that's just a, okay? So now we were here in the tuning as the A string gives you the tunings. E string gives you different guitars, tunings, D as in doubling, G string gives you up to 12 semi notes to transpose up, B as in bass, 12 semi notes to transpose down. So you have a six string bass guitar in a nanosecond. And whatever you do on the first five that you come up with, you uh, uh, create up to 20 fret, up to 20 patches for instant uh, uh, call, recall of patches that you created. So now we are on the A string, so here we go. Okay, now I go to uh, the next position here. Open E. Uh, sorry, that gad. Open E. Open A. G, D. E. Or minor. And then with the sustain, of course, you can have that ring, you know, when you tie it in, you can have a kill switch now from the rev pad to use and go a whole bunch of places. And then uh, we have here, uh, let's hit, the, I want to show yeah, the doubling, the capo. So uh, we play, uh, to go back to normal, this is for the user that you know, the high E string where the patches are created, the zero fret you always leave on normal. That means you hold down the volume here and pluck. Hit the regular e, e chord now. You're back to the normal guitar. Now I'm in caper mode, so keep, keep strumming. We go. Yeah, a normal. Keep the same thing. So, so now, here's, here's the feature, is now if you play and go up into higher fret positions, you could not tune the guitar that way. Maybe for that one location, but if you switch, you already be out. So play up here. Who can do that? Yeah. All right? Cool. All right. So the same thing you can do if you reset here, here play a chord. So now you octave lower. Now we go to to the B string of, of the uh, five, uh, six position selector here. So now pl play the E chord. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna keep playing strum. So now it's a six a whole octave uh, lower, right? Yeah. And uh, uh, before I wanted to show, I go back to normal, strum once, back. So now we're gonna go to the D string, in, as in doubling. And uh, let's say the first will be a 12 string right here. Okay. So the next position, can you play? Octava down, so octava down and the front. Go ahead. Fourth. Octave up. Go down bass. Oct uh, f uh, fifth. Okay. And I forgot what this one is. I don't have it in my head right now, but like I said, there's a, a, all the options come from here. I have a cheat sheet, uh, which we don't have here, I guess. <laughs> a laminate. No, you need that. Oh, yeah. But you, 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 you use it. It took me a while to get it, but the way I came out about it, as I made these color uh, strips mm -hmm. here, that really help, right? Sixth position, I know where I'm at. 
and uh, you can uh, instantly access it like that. I want to mention, you also can plug in an iPad here and have all the stuff that you saw here with touch on the iPad, call you up, which I wish we had, but uh, I wasn't. Okay, there you have it. It's so much <laughs> the best part is, where's the lid? Check this out. Neodymium here, beautiful, Switzerland, Rolex, okay, and now the beauty is, yeah, it's a pleasure to do this, and then instant, sorry, okay, right here, and uh, anybody home? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Thomas, so are there plans to maybe make this any kind of production model, or? That is up to our two fellows from Switzerland, but I think once people uh, get that in today's world, you know, why not have everything, and again, this is wireless, you walk around anywhere, and you can do all these things, these tools, available at hand why not yeah. you know I have nothing against the Les Paul from the 1700s and leave it as is but <laughs> at the same time you know right on. All right. so now we're gonna look at the other Jane model which you guys brought which uh, has a built-in piezo so we're gonna switch right. around and take a look at that all right now we have Sylvan here uh, from Relish Guitars and we're gonna talk about this Jane here which has a special extra feature yeah exactly we, we came up with the solution that we can integrate a piezo inside our hollow semi body yep. construction mm -hmm. so the bridge is directly connected to that middle layer the aluminum frame in our construction and all also in the Mary construction vibrates more than any other solid body guitar mm. so that's why we came up with the result that the piezo is perfectly fitting into our construction and it provides an amazing sound so we put that one as an add-on so we have here the graph tag piezo and this is about $500 map up price yep. and you can have it as an add-on and all the customers so far that we have experienced the feedback from Shanghai Tokyo and here now is that they love this concept mm. to mix in to have it separated you don't need to change the guitar on stage for electric to acoustic right. so it's a perfect add-on um, and so how do you how do you switch between the two it's always it's always engaged, but uh, you would turn on the, the piezo like this, and then uh, electron, the magnetic pickups, your fingers with the LED pickups. So they're all engaged at all times once it's plugged in, and then you could uh, disengage or turn down the piezo when it's in. It's all right, Joel, let's hear a little bit. It's also a push and pull function, so you can have that one, and it makes the sound more brighter. Okay. Yeah. Or, uh, so with the Good morning. The magnetic pickups, pickups also. There's a full sound with all three pickups. Just the, just the magnetic pickups. So Sylvan, when will this uh, upgrade be available to your customers? Uh, it is available right now and we kind of have a back order. So uh, any orders from dealers and customers, we are ready to deliver within eight weeks. And where people can go online to find out more information about this and the Phantom Chain and everything you guys are doing at Relish Guitars. Exactly, it's relishguitars.com, Phantom Chain, where you get the information for the concept guitar and also we will upload more information for the Piazza Solution. And so, yeah, Excellent. definitely. Sylvan, Thanks thank you, man. Thomas, thank you, buddy. <laughs> it's Jason Shadrick with PremierGuitar.com.